Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF News video, and this is gonna be a big one, we got a whole bunch of topics to talk about in today's episode, ranging from some admittedly pretty old stuff we still need to do some catching up on involving Hex and some book news, however, don't worry, we still have a whole bunch of new FNAF news to talk about involving the movie, the Ruin DLC, and a whole bunch of upcoming merchandise and books, so without further ado, since we have so much to talk about, let's not waste any more time at the the start of this video scroll down give that sub button a little tickle and let's kick it off by talking about some brand new tales from the pizzaplex books first up we have the bobby dot conclusion in the news which is the fifth entry in the tale series because not too long ago we got the official story chapters involved in the book revealed to us and those include ggy the storyteller and the sequel to the bobby dot story and as a matter of fact if you're heavily involved in the book scene i'm sure you've heard that someone was able to get their hands on the book early and they've been doing some live readings of the stories and quite frankly i may have to make a whole separate video talking about those stories because they are insane with their lore next up we have the eighth entry in the tale series now officially titled b72 you may recognize this cover we talked about it in a previous fnaf news video but we weren't exactly sure if it was the official eighth book since back then it was only titled b7 but as it turns out it looks like this is officially the eighth entry in the book series and it's going to be a sequel to B7. So that's going to be very interesting to see how they continue that story. And speaking of some book news, we got an announcement that was pretty weird the other day. The Five Nights at Freddy's Ticket to Fun Aferia Kit. I had to look up that word. I don't know how to pronounce that. It appears to be an activity kit that includes a short book, some puzzles, and even some in-universe merchandise that has a release date right now of October the 17th of this year. I'll have its description up on screen, so if you want to pause the video, take a deeper look at what this kit is going to include. If you remember the survival logbook, I guess this is like the, the new modern updated version of the survival logbook. So it's going to be very interesting to see what the puzzles are going to be like, if there's going to be any massive lore drops in this activity kit. Moving on now to some quick fire merchandise. We got some brand new FNAF hangers from Just Toys. This is season two of their hangers for Security Breach. Looks like this line has the characters holding Fazer Blast guns, which looks pretty interesting and it also has the 1 in 32 rare versions of the sun and moon daycare attendant if you remember quite a while back when talking about some upcoming funko merchandise we talked about a retail exclusive blackheart bonnie plushie and figure well the other day actually someone was able to find the retail exclusive blackheart bonnie plushie and this is what he looks like he's a cute little fellow we don't know what store he's going to be exclusive to just yet and we're also still waiting on the reveal of the action figure but you can see the tag is specialized on him it's all valentine's themed with some hearts going around it looks pretty awesome so tell me what are your thoughts on this brand new plushie from funko are you looking forward to possibly more fnaf ar skins getting some merchandise and speaking of funko merchandise looks like we may be getting some security breach pops at least ones of the sun and moon daycare attendant because some listings appeared online on showcase's website listing pre-orders for sun and moon funko pop figures now supposedly take this with a grain of salt because it hasn't been confirmed whether or not we're going to be getting pop figures based on security breach characters personally i'd love to see these actually be legit and released sometime in the near future but i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see and next up for funko we got tony mario bros back at it again leaking some upcoming products this time some eight inch hand puppets of freddy and bonnie once again some of the weirdest merchandise announcements we've had in a very very long time i'd love to see what their design's gonna look like but i don't <laughs> I don't know how well they're going to sell. And who knows, maybe if they do so well, we can get more like Chica, Foxy, Springtrap. The other day, an eBay listing went up featuring a Walmart exclusive Popsy of Chocolate Bonnie. The listing did say it was unreleased. However, it is likely this just hasn't officially been released to stores just yet. But as you can see, he looks adorable. He presses button, it pops up. Surprise, happy Easter. I'm kind of neutral on the Popsies. I think they look pretty cute, but also, I mean, this is only going to be our fourth one if it does officially release so i'm not sure how lucrative they're going to be in the future but i'd like to see him officially release he looks cute and speaking of things that look cute if you missed my video recently we unboxed a few of the balloon circus mystery minifigures and in that video i commented oh they got rid of the red balloon foxy figure how strange well as it turns out some boxes overseas on the back actually feature exclusive variants of some of the characters so it seems that some point in the near future these guys are going to be exclusive to some retail stores you've got a glow in the dark goth version of circus chica who looks absolutely adorable 
you've got my homeboy red foxy making an appearance again super glad he's not scrapped and then you also have an insanely rare 1 in 72 exclusive bright blue circus bonnie once again it's unclear what stores these three figures are going to be exclusive to but hopefully pretty soon they make their way over here and we can find out and lastly for funko we got some brand new metallic versions of the balloon freddy and balloon bonnie funko pops these guys are going to be exclusive to target part of funko's target con event and it's set to release around february 19th if you're on the lookout for these guys taking a quick pit stop at some hex news because we haven't covered this on a fnaf news video just yet back in december on Darko's charity stream they officially revealed their next wave which is wave four and as you can see it is going to feature the withered animatronics from fnaf 2 withered freddy withered foxy withered bonnie and withered chica unfortunately no withered golden freddy f's in the chat this is only their concept art right now we don't have any reveals of what the plushies themselves actually are going to be looking like but something interesting to note is that bonnie's head as you can see you may be confused like why does bonnie have a head well actually it is removable much like toy chica's beak it's got a magnet on the inside of it and you can take it on and off that is a very very smart idea also for hex news on that charity stream we got an exclusive first look at the candy the cat and pup goes the weasel plushies it's worth noting these guys are still prototypes even the photos i'm showing you right now but this is a close look at candy as you can see he's got everything you would love in a candy plushie bright red bow tie adorable tail behind him he even has the burger in his hand from candy's burgers and fries he looks absolutely amazing and then we have pop goes the weasel who as you can see is pretty different the reason for that is because this plushie uses a different material to give the effect of the scan lines that the pop goes animatronics have in universe they're using a different material called corduroy once again these are only prototypes so i'm sure a whole bunch of changes are going to be made before they release moving on now to u2's news we got a whole bunch of brand new reveals for u2's as always first up not too long ago we got an exclusive look at the 3d model for their upcoming burn trap figure his silhouette has been on the site for a little while now and just in case you missed it this is what his concept art looks like so hopefully pretty soon when the next wave drops i believe it's in march though i think i've said february in the past which now that i think about it i think they said march but i'd assume he'd be a part of that next upcoming wave then we also got an exclusive look at version 2 of vanny the second figure for vanny i'd assume is going to be a more traditional launch for figures actually appearing on the website because if you don't know the first vanny figure was exclusive to that giant collector's edition box for security breach quite frankly i'm a little disappointed by the second figure i was kind of hoping they were going to be a bit more creative with it but i'd assume they probably did it this way so people who couldn't afford the collector's edition and for u2's plushies revealed on their tiktok u2 showed off their upcoming sitting glamrock freddy plushie so it seems that alongside fnaf 1 sitting plushies with freddy and i'd assume the other cast were also going to be getting sitting versions of the security breach plushies which is a little disappointing once again for people who already bought their fnaf plushies i would have preferred if these guys released before the standing plushies just because i think they have a better design they look cuter and speaking of cute sitting plushies because we're not done just yet you thought it was only going to be fnaf 1 and security breach you're insane because on their tiktok they also showed off not one but two sitting plushies of toy freddy one of them's the stereotypical happy version and the other one is him holding up what appears to be an iPad that says Mr. Hugs on the side. And he's angry, probably because he lost at his game at Five Nights with Mr. Hugs. So yeah, just a whole bunch of new U2's products coming out soon. If you own some of their previous products, I don't see the incentive to get some of the newer plushies. And also, I guess, Vanny version 2. I don't know. U2's is being a bit weird right now. They're getting a bit quirky at night. And now moving on to some Steel Wool and Security Breach news. I don't want to gloss over this. They did release a Happy Holidays tweet, which was very adorable. They got some brand new artwork of the characters. And they're all turning Freddy into a snowman. Gregory looks maybe a bit too happy. Freddy looks pretty chilly <laughs> and also last month in january they released a brand new patch for the xbox version of security breach they didn't release any patch notes i haven't heard anything new with the update so i'd assume nothing major was changed most likely just a few bug fixes and optimization stuff like that but now we come to the big news of today development update for ruin it's not much it's very vague so this can be interpreted in pretty different ways but we're gonna go through it pretty slow because today a brand new branch was added to fnaf security breaches steam db titled fnaf 9 xbox dlc shipping and development now the name drop of xbox is very significant here because that most likely means they're working on testing a xbox port or version at least 
of the Ruin DLC. And a lot of people have been pointing out that'd be a pretty difficult thing to do if the majority of the gameplay or just the DLC itself wasn't at least in a relatively stable complete state. However, it's definitely worth noting because this most likely guarantees an Xbox version of the DLC is going to uh, release, hopefully, at launch if they're testing it now that would be phenomenal because i know xbox fans you guys had to wait so 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 long to get the main game so hopefully this means they're testing out an xbox version of the game to have it release on launch i don't know how far in development the dlc is once again it is possible that this means nothing and they just wanted to test something super quick what it would be like on xbox i'm not entirely sure i don't have all the answers but i think with all the movie news going on which is our next topic actually we do still need to keep an eye on Steel Wool and what they're planning on doing with the Ruined DLC because it seems like they're making hella progress. And it has been a very, very long time since we've had any proper updates regarding the Ruined DLC. I mean, the poster we got, we got that in like May of last year, which if I'm counting right is like nine months. So <laughs> it's been a very, very long time. Hopefully pretty soon we can get at least a teaser. I don't imagine a trailer. I don't think we should go into that mindset just yet until we have an official statement from Steerwall. But again, hopefully some more news coming pretty soon. But to wrap up this video, we have one more casting for the FNAF movie. And that is Obi-Wan Kenobi star Grant Feely. He posted to his Instagram that he's been cast as a strong supporting role in the feature film. And a bit later on, he made yet another post saying, you might be wondering why I am suddenly blonde. Well, I'm proud to announce I will be in the FNAF movie. And you can see in the picture of him in a bad cupcake directing chair. Now, it's not stated directly who he's been cast as, but speculation's been going around. He's going to be one of the missing kids. And they dyed his hair from what appears to be more of a brunette to a blonde to match more closely with one of the missing kids. However, it is worth noting he said a strong supporting role in a studio feature. So maybe he could be something more. We're just going to have to wait and see. But that has been a absolutely massive FNAF news video. Thank you so much for watching and catching up with me. I've still got a whole bunch of other news to talk about. Like I said earlier on in the video, we got those brand new tale stories to take a look at and their implications with the lore. More recently, we got the uh, character encyclopedia release that has also a whole bunch of stuff I want to take a look at with you guys. It's also been a a very long time since we last talked about the pop go series and all their weekly updates as a matter of fact i may need <laughs> i may need to do a dedicated video to those updates because they're just always packed full with a whole bunch of stuff so once again subscribe so you don't miss out on all that more fnaf news and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye